Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. Shannon, how much do you think this could tarnish Brett Favre's legacy? Well, I don't think none can tarnish it. Because if you go back and look at his history when he played in the NFL, it should have tarnished it already. I talked to people that was in the room when Brett Favre went to the Hall of Fame and nobody mentioned about text messages that he sent to that jet masseuse. Mm. Nobody mentioned anything about the addiction that he suffered from. But yeah. yet, T.O., they brought up everything. Can you imagine if T.O. would have had an incident, incidents like Brett Favre off the field? T.O. still, to this day right now, would not be in the Hall of Fame. Yet they walked right past it like Brett Favre did nothing. That is true. I the, give you that. The problem that I have with this situation, yep. you got to be a sorry mofo mm. to steal from the lowest of the low. Skip, they, they, Mississippi is the poorest state in our country. It is. It's citizens. So if they're the poorest state, Brett Favre is taken from the, 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 uh, uh, the underserved. You made $100 plus million dollars in the NFL. And they're talking about, well, he didn't know. This is what Brett Favre takes. If you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and how much? So if you got to ask your, if you got to ask this question, is there any way the media can find out? You already know you're doing something wrong. The mere fact that you don't want anybody to know. So you know you're doing something wrong. And Skip, he wanted to seem so imp so philanthropic. He wanted to change the perception of the narrative. He take money for some damn volleyball arena. Well, his his, his daughter, daughter played. So, mm -hmm. so but yo, oh, you see what Brad Favre did for his alma mater? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't get no money. Came out of his pocket. He stole money from people that really needed that money. Yep. Man, this is this is embarrassing. And he's not the only one. Ted DiBiase, a former wrestler, even Marcus Dupree. A great running back at your old the school that you loved, that you loved growing up, Oklahoma. He got money. How can you got to be really low to take from the poorest of the poor? To, Brad, you ain't got enough money. Okay, Skip, listen. You don't, okay, you know you're not supposed to have this. But how about go give the damn speeches? Mm -hmm. They're paying you to give speeches and you didn't even give the speeches. And now you won't even pay the money back. And they fired one of the guys that, that, that say he tried to recoup the money. They fired him to about when he was a Clinton appointee. Mm -hmm. it, it was political. Yeah. Shouldn't you get the money back? Have nothing to do with politics. The man got the. And this is what we know. Skill, when black and brown people do, do fraud the government, they do it. They hell bent. Mm -hmm. You get an EBT card and you get WIC or you get stuff like that. Boy, they move heaven and earth to try to put you in jail for 400 little measly dollars. Fact. Now this man done took a million dollars. Somebody got three million. Somebody got 400000 yep. And they sitting around like, well, well, you know, it, it happened and we'll see. And they're going to get more money and do it all over again. And to your point, the Mississippi Department of Human Services had to file a civil lawsuit against Brett Favre because he had not paid back the interest he owed on the $1.1 million that he was fraudulently given right. for giving no speeches. Right. right? And he won't even okay. pay the, the $1.1 million back. He won't even pay the interest on the money. Right. It's two hundred twenty-eight. dollars thousand dollars i mean you got you, you got to be really low yeah you got to be really low and 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 people and 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 and, and politicians that you got to be really low too to know that this money is supposed to go to the most underserved and you take it and give it to people that's made millions or got millions or have the upper the potential to make millions and you're willing to do that you're willing to let your people starve you let your people go underserved and brett Favre, you took this money ain't nothing good skip this is what we know yeah if people like you, there is nothing you can do to turn them against you. What's up, everybody? I want to thank y'all so much for tapping in with me. Make sure to claim your 30K bonus as soon as you sign up with my link in my description. You will get a 30K bonus once you sign up and deposit money and trade with crypto. So you can start with $100, $200. It's up to you. And uh, the clip I just show y'all, that was Shannon Sharp and he was heated because Brett Favre, he has reignited his lawsuit against Shannon. Shannon, he was on the Undisputed platform before he got fired by Skip. And when he was on the platform, he was speaking with Skip about Brett's business endeavors. And what he said was, you got to be a sorry mofo for doing what you did. And this is not my words. This is what Shannon Sharp did. I'm not saying that Shannon Sharp is right or wrong. I'm just stating what was said. So what happened was Brett Favre, he was given almost $1 million for speaking services. And he didn't even complete these speaking services. This was a part of a big scandal in Mississippi 
Instead, according to sources, used these funds for personal projects. And if you think about this, $1 million, that is a lot of money. And what they're saying is that all this money, $1 million, that could have gone to people in Mississippi that really needed it. For example, schools and other people that actually needed the money to better their life. And according to sources, Brett Favre, he's actually repaid the money in two payments in 2020 and 2021, but it still owes 430K. And uh, it's really important to say that also, Brett Favre has denied wrongdoing in this case, and he has not been charged. And I actually want to know what y'all think about this, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.